a former NFL player puts his money where his mouth is when it comes to support for the pro-life movement. Julie and her team are right on the front lines of helping women and young men uh, just make decisions to, to bring forth life. And so we partnered uh, with her and her team for several years. And today, we the people at Transformation Church want to give you $50,000 to continue to do the great work that you're doing. That is former NFL player Derwin Gray, who today is a Christian pastor. Derwin recently made a $50,000 donation to a local pro-life pregnancy center, the Women's Enrichment Center. The purpose behind the donation is a powerful one. We spoke with Gray recently to hear why. Here's our interview. Joining us now is former NFL player Derwin Gray, who is the founding and lead pastor of Transformation Church, a Christian church just south of Charlotte, North Carolina. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's such an honor uh, for me to be here. It's an honor for us to speak with you. And you made some headlines recently because your church made a generous $50,000 donation to a local pro-life pregnancy center. And from my understanding, there is a personal reason behind that donation. Can you share that story with our viewers? Yeah, um, it would be my honor to. So, um, so when my mom was pregnant with me, she was 16 years old. It was in the early 70s, and that was at the time of um, uh, desegregation of schools. And so she found herself uh, as an African-American teenage female at a predominantly all-white school. And she went to the school nurse, and she said that she was pregnant. And the school nurse said to her, well, you should go to California where they perform abortions uh, because this could ruin your life. And so I'm thankful that my mom, in essence, said a cuss word to the school nurse and said no. And I actually didn't know that story up until about five or six years ago when my mom and I were in conversation and she shared that story. And so uh, being a follower of Christ, but also understanding my mom at 16 years old, making a courageous decision to bring me into the world has definitely influenced my perspective as a, as a pastor uh, but also understanding the dynamics that every human being is made in the image of God and every human being deserves an opportunity for life. And so at Transformation Church, we've partnered with the Women's Enrichment Center for over eight years. And so we were somewhat surprised that our story kind of went viral since we have been uh, partnering with the Women's Enrichment Center for a while, both financially but also in service as well. So we're very passionate. What we like to say at Transformation Church is we're pro-life from the womb to the tomb. So issues of, of justice matter to us, uh, but also understanding that um, um, the decision to bring a child into the world is a difficult one. Mm -hmm. And if people don't have an understanding of God's grace and God's love and God's provision, um, they're going to look for a way out. And so by partnering with the Women's Enrichment Center, what we're able to do is not only help with bringing the child to life, but after the child is born, to walk alongside the mom, to walk alongside the dad, not only educationally, but job training and also mental, emotional, and spiritual support. And so we want to have a holistic understanding of what it means to be pro-life. And so for me as a pastor, I think of, who are the kids um, that could have been born who are like me, that grew up in an uh, at-risk environment, um, a troubled environment, yet God in His grace has used that now to utterly transform my life. And so we wow. just want to be a part of, of, of seeing Christ bring life into the world. That's beautiful, and I am so grateful for your mother's yes to your life. And this brings me straight to my next question. You mentioned how you partner with pro-life centers like the Women's Enrichment Center where you donated. Why are these centers so important for our nation? Oh, gosh, they are, they are so important because it's important for women and men to know that there is another alternative. There is, there is another option. Um, life is sacred. Life is precious. Life is a gift. Mm -hmm. And uh, we believe there's dark demonic forces that wants to devalue life. And so the Women's Enrichment Center, along with churches, can come alongside these women and men to say, listen, 
Yes, bringing a child into the world is hard. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, but it is so worth it. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people just don't know and there's so much fear. And we know that fear, anything done in fear is not going to work out well. But perfect love, as 1 John 4, 18 says, casts out all fear. And so we want to come alongside of organizations that are promoting the understanding this of sacredness of life, but then partnering with a holistic understanding of life. You, as I mentioned, are a former NFL player. I've interviewed former NFL player Matt Burke about his pro-life views. I know there are other players who are boldly pro-life as yeah, well. Do you think having played in the NFL gave you a bigger platform to share your life-affirming messages? Oh, there is no question about it. When I look at the kaleidoscope of my life, I was never the biggest, the fastest, the strongest, nor the best athlete, uh, but God somehow found in his mysterious grace to give me opportunities to excel. And so uh, my NFL platform was definitely, uh, for me to not only enjoy it, but it has opened up doors that people will listen to, to me simply because I played in the NFL. And so at this stage of my life, uh, I wanna steward that platform well. And what better platform uh, than the NFL to say, you, you, you know what, the NFL may stand for National Football League, but God's NFL stands for new found life. Mm -hmm. and, and he wants people to live because we are his image bearers. Derwin Gray, former NFL player, now pastor of Transformation Church. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much.